Gas, gas, gas! The man's coming. Who's the man? You don't know who the man is? Man could be anybody, guys. Look, the man encompasses a lot of different things. Like we, what? Well, if the man's coming, I mean, it could be anything from a motorcycle gang of grizzly bears to a rabid pack of uh, Ebola, Ebola zombies? zombies. It could be UN blue helmets coming to take our guns. It could be, you know, a rabid pack of marauder bandit looters. It could be anything. Well, what kind of guns would you use for that? I mean, like, we were thinking about this. So, uh, if you haven't guessed, we've got another Five Guns video. What five guns would you want for just the absolute worst case? I mean, that is worst case when the man comes. What would you choose? I mean, like, what, what would be, if they were near your house, like, really, really close by, what would you want? I don't know. I mean, for starters, put together this little rig. Little 300 blackouts, one of the little AAC kits that you can get on the market. They come with the barrel, the uh, gas block, your uh, gas tube, pretty much everything you need to assemble it besides an upper receiver, bolt carrier group, charge and handle. Um, it actually comes with their muzzle device as well, the little 51 tooth ratcheting device. And this is one of their uh, 762 SD cans, their full size 762 can. And just run it on a little Anderson upper. And this is one of the uh, pistol lowers that I put together. It's got the SB15 brace, a little EOTech awesome. on top of it, and the Geisley super semi-auto enhanced trigger, a little bit lighter weight, two-stage style trigger. Run a little bit of Lehigh controlled fracturing ammunition, quiet, quiet stuff. Okay, okay, so so let, let, them, let them feel the hurt, but in, in a quiet way, right? In a quiet way. Well, I'll tell you, you know, it, it's funny, when we do these videos, I, I know that they always kind of are uh, a bit of satire involved, you know, it is a little bit of humor, but you know, there are real world applications that a lot of these guns would fit into, and we will discuss those as we go. Um, but you know, suppressors are really, really hot in the market right now. Oh, a yeah. lot of people are wanting cans on their guns and everything like that, and uh, and rightly so. You know, they're they're just awesome. You know, a lot of people can't afford the the heavy prices that machine guns um, often command. Uh, a great example here is this FNX pistol. Mm -hmm. um, this particular gun carries a uh, 15 round magazine, double single action. It's got the RMR style slide rider on it, high night sights. Um, this particular can is a full size Tyrant, AAC Tyrant, 45 suppressor, and this rig is quiet, quiet, quiet. Well, that Tyrant can is rated, I mean, basically to a decibel level that's the same as some competitors' 22 caliber cans. It is insanely quiet but you know one thing Eric said about suppressors is a lot of people are getting into those nowadays but the thing is a lot of people didn't realize that you know suppressors are legal there's still a big myth out there that you can't buy a suppressor legally but they are legal in I think 39 states currently so you might want to check and see if they're legal in your state because they are a great addition to your firearm absolutely yeah. absolutely you know whether the man comes or not okay we, we, we also know that the man coming might involve going out back and just shooting cans and having fun too so you know th this is our this is our little like satire humor here so we can we can play it out however we want so all right well they're coming down the driveway they, they, they knock on the door all right what's going on this is what's going on a Benelli <laughs> super black eagle this has got burnt bronze Cerakote um, this particular gun has a Nordic component six shot extension and their barrel clamp um, very very smooth inertia operated shotgun it's got a 24 inch vent rib barrel um, it'll hold 11 rounds of two and three quarter buckshot. It's a lot of firepower. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So whether it's a bump in the night or a bump at the door and it's, it's the zombies are coming or the, the blue helmets are coming, well, no matter what the case may be. The cool thing about that Super Black Eagle is it's rated for three and a half inch shells. So you can really you know, load some pounders in that thing too. Oh yes, well I don't know if you, you can handle it, but the gun can. And I tell you what, that's a new addition to my collection. That's an early H&K import, uh, Super Black Eagle. Beautiful little gun, I've really mm -hmm. been digging it so far. It's running really nice. Picked it up here at Moss, of course. Um, very nice shotgun. Um, so if all of those don't do the trick, all right, well what's number four? How about a SCAR 17S? And this little rig right here is a kitten all right you got your 20 round magazines um, this is a wonderful gun it's an equipped with a uh, full-size um, OSS suppressor uh, 5 8 by 24 threaded this is a very very unique system guys I'm going to show you real quick here um, not going to go into too many details because there's probably a strong chance that we're going to be reviewing this rig this is actually your muzzle brake right here okay 
And this entire system here encompasses a bunch of expansion chambers and vents that allow the gases to get directed in a, in a multitude of different directions. This can threads in place and it becomes a suppressor. So while it's off, <coughs> it's a brake. While it's on, it's a suppressor. Well, the cool thing about the OSS system, too, is it's not designed around the similar, like, uh, or the familiar K baffle system as many other suppressors are designed around. It actually has more of a jet engine, like, turbine look to the baffle system. The gas is just flowing in and around all these little, little areas inside the can. Yep. And if I'm not mistaken, it has like 30 feet of expansion. It, I might be wrong in that, but as oh, far yeah. as like linear expansion, if you just measure everything out, like 30 feet of expansion chamber that the actual gas can you know travel into and oh, yeah. suppress the weapon. Well, so, um, awesome system. We've got this little rig topped off with a one to six Vortex Razor HD. It's a 24 millimeter objective. Very very nice rapid acquisition combat optic. Awesome setup. We got her topped out with a Geisley trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, this is their SCAR trigger, which is amazing. If you guys haven't had a chance to try it, you should definitely check it out. And uh, many of you guys know that the SCAR is a gun that I've really been a fan of. This is my personal gun. And uh, it's a gun that I've really been a fan of for quite some time. We've done some video work with it, but we've never done just a standalone review of the gun. But I think it's yep. just about time. I think we need to go ahead and get this thing out for a full review. But um, loving the SCAR, guys. You know, you can't go wrong with a 308 battle rifle. Can't go wrong with a uh, 300 Blackout AR or even a 5.56 AR. FNX Tactical, one of my favorite handguns. Mm -hmm. You got the Benelli Super Black Eagle, really just kicking butt, putting rounds down range. Let's, uh, let's break out the fifth contender, because, you know, I don't know if what we have here is going to quite do the job. Break that out. You know, it, this, I don't know. You know, I, how about a Barrett M107? You know, load that thing up with some nasty Lehigh ammo or some slap rounds or something. We got one of these new uh, Weaver Tactical Scopes. Um, this particular optic that's on this gun has not been out a terribly long amount of time. In fact, uh, I'll probably end up taking this rifle out for review and we'll do a little bit of playing around with it. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot of features that that optic has that obviously I can't talk about in the short scope of this video. But this rig is just awesome. It's a semi-automatic 10-shot. Uh, 50. This one's got this is the full size gun, full length barrel, and uh, these things are freaking jackhammers. Well, you guys might know the Barrett is what the military is using for long range sniping applications, area targets, and even point targets. I mean, this gun was designed around using the 50 BMG for long range sniping, and it, it's just an incredible system. I mean, it's the it's the cream of the crop. I mean, it really is. It sure is, you, you know? know, and I, I tell you what, before too much longer, I think I might have to, I've been walking around Moss here and seeing this thing hanging from the ceiling. I think I'm going to have to pony up on it's it. It's always taunting us. <laughs> yeah, it's taunting us. But, uh, you know, guys, I hope you can see the, uh, the humor in this video. You know, obviously we're not saying, you know, the government's coming after you or anything like that, but this video kind of mirrors, you know, the whole five guns the government doesn't want you to have. Because there's a lot of misconceptions about what type of firepower is available to civilians, especially when you start talking about suppressors, you start talking about short barrel rifles, you start talking about, you know, 50 cals and other large bore rifles. I can't tell you how many people come in here and go, that rifle's legal? Well, mm -hmm. of course it is. Well, see, 50 cal is basically the largest caliber the civilian can own without having to go through any special paperwork or any kind of registration process or anything like that. I mean, you can't own 20 mil. Now, most states you can own 50. I don't think you can own 50 in California, but I might be mistaken. You know how they are. But, <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is the great equalizer, guys. I mean, this right here. It so. certainly is. It certainly is. Well, uh, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. This has been uh, five guns for when the man comes. Certainly a, a crazy subject, but <laughs> hopefully you got to see some cool guns here today. Maybe you learned a little bit of something about what we've showed you here. Thanks for watching, guys. We've got many more videos in the pipeline, and we've got something on the way that's going to be a 10 guns video. Mm. So stay tuned for that. Double the fun, right? All right. All right. Well, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.